Hi, I'm Mary O'Toole from thelightwithinwellness.com. And I want to ask you, are there things in your life that you love to have right now? And have you asked for those things? I want to share a quick story with you that happened to me this week. Um, as some of you may know that I was traveling um, for business in, to Fort Lauderdale. I've never been a beautiful area. I didn't get a chance to explore it, but I hope to be back. And I was staying in a very nice hotel. It was a lovely hotel, very comfortable. And I can tell that they were striving for excellence, that that's their training. And it felt really nice to be in that type of environment. But two nights before I was checking out, I got a text message from them. And they asked, how could we make your stay excellent? And I was in a very uh, didn't care energy. And I, I was so focused on other things that I was like, what would make my stay excellent? I'm going to ask for something, which I normally don't. And I responded back, complimentary breakfast. And their response to me was, my pleasure. Two vouchers are under your door. I was like, whoa, well, that was fast and that was easy. Really? And I'm, then I was thinking, oh, it's probably muffin or coffee or something. When I went, got to breakfast, it was a beautiful spread of delicious food, healthy food, tons of vegetables, clean eating, full breakfast. And I got to sit um, and outside and be near the ocean and ha had the most delicious cup of coffee and juice and, and beautiful food. And I was like, wow, that was easy. I asked, they could have said no, and I received it. And I was thinking about how easy was that? And if I ask for other things, can it come that easily? It was just a great reminder of how if we are, if we ask, there's a chance we could receive. If we don't ask, we're never going to receive. And I just want to remind you to ask. I want you to look at your life and see who you're not asking. Who you're not maybe asking the universe for help. Who you're not asking maybe friends or family for help if you need it. Or maybe at work you feel you have to do it all. And you're not good at delegating or asking for help. Or maybe you're overwhelmed at work and you need to talk to your manager or your boss and you need to ask for help. It's that thing for asking for help. I think sometimes some of us, including me, we think it as a weakness that we should be able to do it all. That's not truth. We want to focus our time on things that we're gifted at, the things we're good at, things we're being productive, and also things that fulfill us and makes us happy. So my message to you is to ask. Now, by asking the breakfast, I wasn't attached to a yes or a no. I didn't care if they said no. I didn't care if they said yes. If they said yes, it was a great benefit. And that's the key part of it is not to be attached to the outcome. If you're asking for something like, oh, please make it happen, please make it happen, it may not happen. But if you ask and you let it go and you may tell yourself, I positively expect it to happen, and just feel your body unattached to it, then it'll come true. So I want you to practice it. Even if people say no, don't let that be something's wrong with you. Don't make it anything but they just said no, it's okay. But ask. Ask for what you want. We all could use this lesson and we could all practice it way more than we are practicing it. People love to help. Be clear about what you're asking for and know it's okay to ask for help. Ask for what you want. Why not? Have a great week and if you have any questions or comments, please leave me comments below or email me. And I hope this is helpful and I just want to remind you, ask. Have a great day.